In self-defense, the union launched a campaign on school violence alongside its Lesotho counterpart, Lesotho Association of Teachers. Satu Free State says government should ensure adequate security in schools. SABC reporter Balesa Mueti now on the line with us for more. Balesa, a, a very good evening to you. So let's just start with the genesis of the story. Who made the actual call that teachers or to arm themselves, to protect themselves. Well, it's um, sad to hear in the free state that feels that, um, you know, teachers should not be arming themselves. I suppose this comes from an incident where there was a video um, in, you know, recently in social media where a teacher was seen walking around invigilating a classroom and um, they had a, a, a firearm with them. So obviously um, this has gotten the teachers union quite concerned that, you know, obviously this now talks among teachers themselves that perhaps you know it's a good idea to arm themselves seeing that they are um, under attack you know we've seen uh, various incidents across the country where we see videos that come out of children literally physically attacking teachers so amongst themselves there's been talks you know of arming themselves hence the video that we saw we don't know where the, who the source is but it's got Satu talking that that should not be the case in fact um, they specifically said that we are not a military um, we don't have a military school system, so firearms do not belong in classrooms, especially, you know, with teachers. They actually even said that um, if teachers were to arm themselves and learners are also armed, that would literally mean, you know, a, a war would break out in schools between teachers and learners. So that's a situation okay. they totally want to avoid. So, Palisa, how widespread are these attacks against uh, teachers? As in, uh, are teachers saying they're at a point where they feel unsafe and unsafe enough to carry out their duties? Definitely. Um, I remember we did a story late last year where we just went around speaking to teachers. It was just before the final exams and they were saying that the teaching profession has definitely lost its glory, that they feel unsafe when they are at schools. That was immediately after that incident where a teacher was stepped by a learner. Um, it was in Gauteng province if I remember well. But, you know, teachers have been saying that they do not feel safe anymore in schools. I remember also last year there was a summit here in the free state in Velcom where teachers came together to talk about safety also in schools and um, they also adopted a, some sort of um, um, they took like a vow if, if, if I can call it that but basically there they were also also giving testimonies of incidents where teachers all over the province were found themselves in situations where they had physical confrontations with students. I remember one male teacher actually gave a testimony and shared tears and you know spoke about how a female learner in class um, slapped him several times and he knew that he could not do anything all he could do was just stand still you know it was just it was not only him but another female teacher who spoke about an incident here at a school in Bloemfontein where um, the teacher was literally stripped naked by um, two learners that were beating, um, it was a female teacher, that were beating her up. So it, it's, you know, um, various incidents that have happened in the free state and also obviously across the country uh, we've seen teachers being physically attacked by learners. Very briefly, is Satu proffering any suggestions on how safety and security processes can be improved at schools to protect both teachers and learners? Well, um, they've definitely spoken about um, the fact that this should be a joint effort between various stakeholders from parents, SGBs, the general community. But they say that government and the Department of Education in particular have a very critical role of ensuring that there should be um, security manning schools as well as um, police also constantly patrolling and making sure that schools are safe places for education you know there's incidents where gangs um, would come from outside school premises into school premises and start fights or um, go and attack you know some of the learners so you know those have been some of the suggestions that security should be provided 
and um, police should be patrolling. But also, let me just add, um, this um, today's um, campaign was launched by both Satu and their Lesotho counterparts. And I must mention that the teachers in Lesotho, from Lesotho rather, say that violence in, in Lesotho schools is not as prevalent as in South Africa, but they definitely have their own issues that they are dealing with. Palisa, thank you very much. Let's leave it there. Our reporter in Bloemfontein, Palisa Moeti. We'll be back right after this break.